In this instructional video, we will provide a detailed look at Rooms in Visual Controls. Key features of Rooms in Visual Controls include Ceiling devices inserted into a room will default to the room height. Sensor coverage patterns will crop to the room walls. Rooms are the primary method of managing and organizing design information. Rooms are used for automatic riser generation. Sequence of operation assignments are based on devices in each room. And, rooms imported from visual lighting are recognized in visual controls. Rooms are constructed using the room commands on the home or design tabs. A rectangular room can be created using the two-point or three-point command. To create a two-point rectangle room, aligned with the X and Y axis, left-click to set the first corner of the space, and then move the mouse to the opposite corner. The status bar at the bottom will provide displacement coordinates, showing the distance from the original location. Left-click when at the desired location for the second room corner. Use the three-point rectangle command to create a room with a rotation. You will first define the length and orientation of one wall, and then the width of the entire room. Left-click to place the first corner of a wall. Then move to define the second corner. Next, move to define the width of the room and left-click to set the location. Use the Polygon Room command to create non-rectangle rooms. Polygon rooms are created by setting each corner of the space with a left-click. While drawing, a preview closed line from your cursor to the first set point will show the final shape if you choose to complete the command at that moment. Right-click to close the polygon and complete the room. By default, rooms can be identified by their thicker four-point line weight and black color. These settings can be changed in the properties during construction. When drawing the room, you can enter the ceiling height. The ceiling height will be the default height for any ceiling devices placed within that room. You should provide descriptive room names to efficiently group information and clearly communicate where devices are located. You can change the room properties during construction or after the room has been created. The walls of the room will crop device coverage patterns, helping you to find the optimal location and reducing visual clutter in the design. If devices were placed before adding a room, the coverage patterns will update after a room is added, showing the new cropped coverage patterns. After creating a room, you can adjust the shape of a room by using the stretch command. To move a wall, select the stretch command from the modify tab and left click on the wall segment. Two selection handles will appear on the ends of the selected wall. Left-click again to set a base point and move the mouse in the direction you want to adjust the wall. The status bar at the bottom of the design window will display a displacement distance to indicate the distance from the original location. Notice that walls not directly connected to the selected section stay in place while the connected walls adjust to the moving wall section. Left-click to set the destination point. To move a single corner, start the stretch command and with a left click, select the corner where two wall segments meet. A single guide point will show in this instance. Left click to set a base point and move to the desired location. Left click to set the destination point. Rooms can be modified like other objects in visual controls by using the various commands on the modify tab, such as erase, copy, or move. You can quickly move rooms outside of using the command by selecting the room with a left click and dragging the object to a new location. If the room is moved or modified with the stretch command, the coverage patterns will also update based on the new shape and location. Rooms will crop coverage patterns from devices both inside and outside the room to accurately display the coverage patterns. Selecting a room in the design will open the properties on the right side panel, allowing you to alter descriptive and display related information. You can change elements in the properties such as the name, ceiling height, SOO type if a SOO table has been generated, color, line style, and line weight. 
Additional properties are available in this section beyond those found while constructing the room. You can add a description. View the automatically calculated area of the room or move the room to a different layer. Select the View Riser button to view the riser diagram created for this room. The riser diagram will be highlighted on the riser page. With the selection still active, you can select the View Design button to return to the design containing the devices for this riser. The project manager displays the rooms created in your design and displays an active count. Expand the section to see the full list of rooms. Selecting a room from the list in the project manager will zoom to the extents of the space and center the view. Highlight the room and display the room properties. Rooms have a dedicated layer found in the system's layer section of the display manager, allowing you to control the color and visibility of rooms on that layer. When you import a visual lighting design with rooms, visual controls will recognize those elements in the project. They will be sorted under the newly created visual lighting layer group instead of the default system layers. To move rooms and other objects to a different layer, select the object with a left click and use the drop-down menu in the object's properties to select a different layer. Sequence of operations assignments are based on connected devices in each room. The SOO table can be generated automatically if rooms are created. To begin generating the table, select the SOO table page from the project manager. Select the drop-down arrow below the Generate command on the ribbon. There are three options to generate the SOO table. Generate the table by the capabilities of devices in the room, by room names, or by individual rooms in the design. Select one of the three options available to generate the table based on that criteria. Display Views in the Design Manager supports quick visual analysis of your design with various display modes. Rooms are required to support most design views. Selecting the Rooms view will highlight all rooms in the design to help you find spaces that are missing a required room enclosure. The SOO Assignments view color codes the rooms in the design based on the automated sequence of operations method used. Generating a sequence of operations table by room will assign a unique color to each room used in the design. SOO tables generated by name will assign unique colors for each name used for rooms in the design. If rooms share the same name, they will have the same color. This is one of the reasons it is important to be descriptive when naming rooms in the design. Lastly, generating a SOO table based on capability will group rooms using the same SOO type with the same color making it easy to identify the various SOO types in the design. Rooms are used to sort items in the schedule. Selecting the sorting option by room will restructure the product schedule, grouping the devices using rooms created in the design. The devices listed in the schedule can also be exported to Excel file format. The file will maintain the grouping of products used in the schedule. By default, a page is auto-generated for each design. The page will include the drawing, title block and product legend. To view the properties of a drawing, select the drawing with a left click to display the properties on the right side panel. You can select which elements are visible in the drawing, such as coverage beams and room labels. You can change the display mode using the display drop-down menu. Select sequence of operation to view the rooms color-coded by SOO assignment. Riser diagrams can be auto-generated based on devices in each room. The riser print pages organize and display the connected devices within each room. To generate the risers, click the Auto-Generate button next to the riser section of the project manager. Each riser diagram is labeled with the design and the room name to identify the location of the devices used to generate the riser. Descriptive room names will help identify and sort the information on the riser pages. Visual Controls has a smart room command that recommends products based on energy code, application, and desired product family. 
Begin the smart room process by selecting the command on the design tab of the ribbon. Verify that visual controls is set to online mode because the smart room tool will need to communicate with Acuity product databases in the cloud. Enter a name for the room and then select the required energy code from the drop-down menu. Choose the desired product family of Enlight, Enlight Air, or Sensor Switch products. Next, choose which type of dimming option is required for the environment if needed and the construction method for the room. You can create a standard two-point rectangle or a customized polygonal shape. Next, choose from the list of application types that best match the room you are constructing. When you select an application type, the product preview window on the right will display a list of recommended devices and suggested quantities. For devices with an asterisk in the quantity column, the number of devices will be determined based on the dimensions of the room. Select OK. Now, you will need to create the room using the construction method you selected. After creating the room, you will begin the process of placing devices. The bar at the top of the design window will list which device is being placed and how many devices remain in the process. Left-click to place the first device. You will then be continuously prompted to place the next device in the recommended list until all devices have been inserted. As you place devices, notice that the required connection is already active for the products. After left-clicking to place the final product, the command will be completed. You can also use a current room in the design as a smart room option for future use. Select the Create Smart Room command on the Design tab. Left-click to select the room from which you would like to create a template. In the Information window, give the room a name. Select the energy code used to design the room. Choose the family of products used. And select any dimming option available in the design. Click OK to save the custom smart room. In the future when you launch the command, you will find the newly created smart room under the list of options set in the template. This concludes this instructional video. Please send any questions or comments to the Visual Support Center at support at visual-3d.com.